Hello, welcome to the next lecture. In today's lecture, we will talk about the home APIs, and we will learn a lot of new things. For example, we will learn about JSON. We will learn about the sub queries used in the APIs for the SQL queries as well. So, if we look at our design, we can see that this is the explore tab. This explore tab is actually the home page of this ap application. So when actually the users will sign up or log in, they will uh, they will land on this page initially. And here we can see we can see the events upcoming, which has actually the category, the title of the event, the image, location, start and time, and also the date of that event. So what we need to do first is. Before writing actual query of the events, we need to go to a new website which is called jsoneditoronline.org. This is the website which will be used to create the tree for the home API. Actually, this a, these APIs are generated by the backend team so that JSON data is sent to the front end team of the apps and they use it. So hopefully you will learn about this during this lecture. So first thing is that the, always the APIs we start an object or an array, but we need the response status as well. So that's why we are calling this as an uh, object. The first thing we return in the API is called the status, and the status actually tells us that either this request is successful or not. So if that is 200, which means that request is successful, then we have another. Uh, param in this object is which is called message so in message we return the things like for example um, the events fetched successfully this may be a new concept for you but this will help you in parsing the apis in future as well then we need to also send the page count which is used to the determine the pagination of the events so for example if the page count is 12 then which means if we set okay 10 events will be on one page which means there will be total 120 events in the database then the most important thing is the data which is an array for array we use square brackets so in array we need to return the objects of the data so for example we in the first object this is the first object so what we need over here the first thing we need is the id of this event right so what we do right over here id so what could be the id of the event so if we go into our events table we have one event right over here which is advanced web uh, development training for example and we have this id over here as one which means the id is one for the event then second thing is we need is the title of the event so we will say okay title of the event and in the title of the event we for example just for now we copy from our real database this is just a schema which we are making to use uh, later on and for the image we can see that which image is in the attachments table so if we go back to the attachments table and there we try to find against the id 1 so event object id is 1 and the object type is event so that is actually the event 1.png but we need to add the domain as well along with this so for example if the e uh, domain is abc.com and then we do write is the and the pictures are inside the uploads folder then it will be event one dot PHV, png as a full url of that uh, image then we also need the event category over here like for example so we need to write event category over here and in the event category if you remember we have uh, event and then if we look at the event category that is three over here and then if we go back to our categories table then we will see okay which which is the category against the id3 so if i go to the event categories i can see that is education over here against the id3 
so what we will write over here as uh, the education then we need few more things to show for example we need to show the location as well so what we will do we will say write okay location and to find the exact location what we need to do is we need to go back into our database and find the locations table and try to find the location for against event 1 because we are making data for event 1 that's why we are trying to find that event 1 and in the address we can find okay it's DHL or and also uh, we can attach the country as well it, uh, with that location address and if for example then we need the time so how the time is being shown we can see here it's the start time to the end time so for example this uh, the event is starting at 10 a.m. then it will say okay from 10 a.m. to for example 11 a.m. then what do we need next is we need one more thing is for this date so we can call it as simply date and then we can write the day o date over here for example 30 Monday March 2022 so we actually need this form so the front end team can uh, adjust it accordingly and show so this is how actually we can make the JSON of this uh, event specifically now we need to write the query to get this data actually if there will be more events then it will be same like the first object so if I just copy this first object over here and paste it then the next event will be two uh, ID and whatever the ID is in the database and that event information will be according to that event ID not the same as the first one but I am just showing you that how the data will be more and once there will be many many events then how the data will be shown over here so let's work with the first one first so we need to get the ID first then the title then image event category location time and date of the event so if we head back to our events table and then we can see that uh, here is the query so we say okay select ID from events where or even we, we should not put the where for now let's put it that's so we have now we just wrote that ID and we have the ID over here it's uh, saying one right then if uh, then we do need few more things for example we need now the title as well right so if uh, we, we need to write the title as well right so what we will do we will write over here okay ID and title we need two things so it's showing the ID and title as well now okay now if we go back to our JSON and we need the image now but here is the problem that image is not inside this table right the image is inside the attachments table so if we go back to the attachments table we can see that here is the event one dot png as an image to get the image we need to write a sub query so we can get the image from the attachments tables URL okay the sub queries are written inside the main queries for example that can be little complex but you will learn uh, it uh, step by step to select that URL let's first for example uh, write that query in a way we will see that okay for the sub queries we will start it with the bracket which means there is a sub query inside that so what we will do okay we need to select the URL from attachments table where of which URL we need we need the attachments dot object id should be equal to our event dot id so whatever the event id is that uh, that url should come from accordingly 
and we need to also make sure the attachments dot object uh, type because we are getting the data for event so that should also be an event okay then we will call it as for example we need this as image if we run it now it's saying that unknown column e dot id okay the reason is id e dot id that we have the events here so for example uh, we can call it as e and then we try it out and and here we also get the data from the event dot table as e the reason i am giving this uh, abbreviation so because we do need this events table at many places so i just give it an e then if i run the query then yes we can see the images over here and we also see the title and id so but the problem is this is the the image over here is just has this part the name of the image but in our json we need to concatenate this thing as well so once app users will show it they will be able to see full so if we now work on this concatenation so how this concatenation basically will work is we need to concatenate that url which we have so for that in uh, mysql we need to use the concat option in the concat we need to pass the params so for example the first param we need is this url so i just copy from here and paste it over here and then because we are concatenating it and this bracket is closed over here so then we need to close another bracket over here and then if we run this query and see yes perfectly so it's now actually showing the full url of that image. the reason we are showing this full url is because we need to show this image so image will not be visible in the app with just name only it should have a full path from where that image is placed only then that image will be shown then similarly if we move forward we need the event category as well so as we all know that the event categories is also in into a separate table for in in this table event categories table so we need to also write another sub query to get that event categories table so what we will do is we will write over here okay we need to select which thing we need from the categories table we need the title of that category which is education over here so we will say okay select title from which table categories event categories i guess yes from the event categories table where event categories so so we need to compare the category id right should be equal to our e dot category id so whatever the category will be inside the event id against that event id we will compare it with the event categories and then we will fetch that data uh, from that so we will call that as event category our run run time column so as event category what is the issue now if we put a comma i think over here okay now it's fine because this is the second query so if i just run it and then we see okay id title that's fine image fine yes now we have the event category as well so basically this inner queries are giving us data from the other tables as well next we need to get location so because the location is also in a separate table so we need to write that query as well to get the location so if for example i go to the locations table and there we will see that okay event object id 1 has address dhl lahore yes so then we need to write that query to get the location as well so how we will do it we will say okay we need address from locations table where locations dot 
subject id is actually sorry object id is equal to which thing our event id and object type should be equal to event because we need the location of the event only so we will write that way as event and we will call it as for example as location or what is the uh, name okay its name uh, the key name is location so we just put the comma from the previous query and i just copy for reference okay so here is some error and it's saying that from events as limit 0 okay the object id event id and object type dot category id okay i think there is some issue in the query let's check select address from locations where locations dot object id is equal id and okay we forgot to put the and and if i try out yes now let's see okay we have id we have title we have image we have event category yes now we have the location as well so if i run this query again to just see things more closely so id title we have image okay i think is drag and drop okay image event category and location so this is how you get the data from multiple ta tables in one single query instead of running uh, a lot of functions if you learn to run the sub queries it will solve your lot of problems then we need the time and date so i hope you have learned about the sub queries and what is the json and why do we need it because in the app side we need it so in the next lecture i will explain you how to get the time and date but before you start the le next lecture i think you should try it first to get the date and time within this query which we just wrote and find out either you can do it or not i hope you will be able to do it because if you try it you can do it i can give you an hint about that that you should use the date formation and also uh, the sub query which we already using for date as well no not sub query because that dates are inside the events table already so you just need to learn about date format and then format the date and make it according to this uh, requirements thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture